my name is Kelly Pryan. I'm one of the outpatient dietitians here with Wellstar, and today we're gonna to give you some tips on ways to lower your cholesterol. One thing I do like to point out is cholesterol that's in your food doesn't play a big role in blood cholesterol, and I think what's most important is the types of fats and the amount of fat that you're consuming. Um, so one of the biggest things is trying to eliminate a lot of those saturated fats, and saturated fats tend to be in a lot of those animal products. So maybe your fatty meats, your whole milks, a lot of that dairy product, your butters. So trying to limit some of those and choose more leaner meats, um, poultry without skim, you know, skim or 1% milk, um, non-fat dairy products. And then I think it's important to also limit the trans fats. So the trans fats um, tend to be in a lot of our fried foods, shortenings, margarines. So when you're really looking at a label, you wanna to try to eliminate as much saturated fat as possible and try to avoid the trans fats. And you'll notice when you're looking on labels, a lot of the times now there's a lot of products that are trans fat free, which is very helpful. Another aspect of heart healthy diet is really trying to increase those good healthy fats because those can really help raise your good fat. Some of our healthy fats could be avocados, it could be nuts and seeds, maybe using more olive oil when we're cooking. Um, and also I do like to point out really increasing those omega-3 fatty acids. So those omega-3 fatty acids are a great healthy fat that unfortunately our body does not produce, but we need to get it from diet. And those would be some of our fatty fish. So things like tuna, it's in some of our salmon, trout, sardines, and it's also in some non-seafood products. Things like chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, and walnuts also are good sources of um, omega-3 fatty acids. Another aspect of heart healthy diet is to be watch the sodium. So trying to do a little bit of a low sodium diet. So I do recommend when you're cooking, trying to eliminate the salt shaker, especially after you're cooking, you know, taste your food before adding salt to it. Um, there's a lot of great non-salt seasonings out there. I definitely recommend using more herbs, lemons and limes, garlic and onions to really flavor your food. Um, if you are using, you know, obviously if we can use fresh, that's gonna be a great option. But if we can't use fresh, doing frozen could be a good option, whether it's fruit and vegetables. Um, if you do any sort of canned products, trying to rinse them, that will pull out some of that extra salt as well. Another aspect of a heart healthy diet is limiting the added sugars, because those added sugars can put you at higher risk. And those would be things like table sugar, you know, your syrups, um, any sort of sweetened beverages. So trying to limit those. And then lastly, I like to talk about increasing that fiber. So fiber plays a big role in lowering cholesterol and lowering blood pressure. So really trying to increase the intake of fruits and vegetables, such as you know, apples and some of your vegetables. Also choosing a lot of whole grain products, um, whether it's whole grain bread, whole grain oats, they can play a big role as well. The one thing I do recommend is if you are increasing your fiber, just to do that slowly over a, over a longer period of time, just to kind of ease any sort of GI upset. I hope some of the information provided today will give you some tips on how to create a heart healthy diet routine. If you're interested in learning more or meeting with a dietitian, myself or another outpatient dietitians, please click the link below and thank you for listening.